In this video, we are going to discuss define unit vector. Prove that a unit vector can be represented as follows: a cap is i cap cos a comma x plus j cap cos a comma y plus k cap cos a vector comma z. So, what is unit vector? So, we will start with the unit vector. Unit vector. It means it is a vector quantity because the vector name here. And what is unit? The whose magnitude is unit. That means whose magnitude is one. The vector quantity is will having the two two things: the magnitude and direction. So it will have direction, but the magnitude will be one. So only one unit will be there, and it will have the direction. Let us say you are moving. Five kilometer south. So we will represent it by vector this one. Five kilometer south. Now, if I divide this quantity by five, so five kilometer south divided by quantity five, so it will become one kilometer south. So we will represent it by another vector. So it is one kilometer south. So it is the unit vector of this one. So if I represent this one will a vector, that means this will be a unit vector, and I I will represent it by a cap. So how can I obtain a cap from a? What I have done, I have divided the vector with its magnitude. That means a cap can be obtained. A cap. How can a cap be obtained? A cap can be obtained by a vector. By dividing the a vector by its magnitude, or simply we can write a vector by a. That means vector without its sign. It is the magnitude. So I can write a vector is equal to a a cap. What I have done? This is a vector quantity. A vector and vector quantity will have two things. The magnitude and direction. So, how this has been represented here? This is the magnitude and this is the direction with one magnitude. That means a vector quantity can be written in a separate form: magnitude and direction. So, vector in for a vector quantity, the magnitude and direction can be written separately, or you can say these can be separated. For example, the vector here is five kilometers south. So five kilometer south. This can be written as five into one kilometer south. Here, the five kilometer south is the a vector, and it is written as five into one kilometer south. That means it is a magnitude, and it is the direction with one magnitude. So the, any vector quantity can be written as Direction and magnitude separately. That means the magnitude multiplied by direction with one magnitude. The direction with one magnitude it is called the unit vector. Now the second part, we have to write a cap in this form. How will write? Now we will draw a vector. Now suppose this is a vector joining point. Origin O to the point point P that is x, y, z. So it will have three components along x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. The components the components of a vector that is the a vector along x-axis. X, Y, and Z axis are AX, AY, and AZ. Now the components of a vector along X axis, Y axis, Z axis are AX, AX here. This is AX. This is AY, and this is AZ. Now this diagram is actually three-dimensional. This a vector will make an angle. Suppose this make an angle alpha with the x-axis. This make an angle beta with the y-axis, and this vector make an angle gamma with the z-axis. This vector. So this vector makes 
एंगल अल्फा बीटा एंड गामा विद एक्स एक्सिस वाई एक्सिस एंड जेड एक्सिस तो दी जा रहा है एंगल्स मेड बाय दिस वेक्टर नो व्हाट इज द कंपोनेंट ऑफ ए अलोंग एक्स एक्सिस हाउ विल ऑब्टेन द कंपोनेंट ऑफ ए अलोंग एक्स एक्सिस दैट इज इट मींस ए एक्स इट विल बी ए कॉस अल्फा एंड सिमिलरली ए वाई ए वाई विल बी ए वाई विल बी ए कॉस बीटा एंड आल्सो ए जेड विल बी इक्वल टू ए कॉस गामा मींस कॉस अल्फा इक्वल टू ए एक्स अपॉन ए कॉस बीटा इक्वल टू ए वाई अपॉन ए एंड कॉस गामा इक्वल टू ए जेड अपॉन ए सो वी कैन से फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द पोजिशन वेक्टर the a vector can be written as the x component that is the ax multiplied by unit vector i cap plus y component ay multiplied by unit vector in that direction j cap plus az the z component multiplied by unit vector in that direction az ax is actually a cos alpha i cap ay is a cos beta j cap and az is a cos gamma a cap now if i want to know the unit vector i will divide a vector with a that is unit vector will be equal to a vector by a so it will be cos alpha i cap cos beta j cap plus cos gamma a cap so what is alpha alpha is the angle between a vector and x axis what is beta beta is the angle between a vector and y axis what is gamma gamma is the angle between a vector and z axis so we can write this alpha beta gamma in another form like this one this cos alpha cos alpha can be written as cos the angle between a vector and x axis like this one and cos beta can be written as cos a vector and the angle between y cos gamma can be written as cos a vector comma z that it means it is the angle between a vector and z x so in this way a cap can be written as so a cap can be written as i cap cos a vector comma x plus j cap cos a vector comma y plus k cap cos a vector comma z so in this way i have written a cap in this form which is the required form we have to obtain so this one is the required one expression and you can find the notes in the pdf format in the description below thank you